this is a quick tour of my Oakland garden. We have a loquat at the front and some wisteria, some other ornamental succulents around the, clo the front of the house. Uh, aloe, flowers, succulents, iris, this edible nasturtiums. Another loquat, another loquat, big loquat. That was pre existing, that big one. And let's see, little succulents and edible weeds. Lavender, I guess that's an Asian iris, and a potted avocado. More nasturtiums everywhere. A lot of miner's lettuce mingling with my oregano. Another little lavender coming up. Some freesia. Valerian about to bloom. Mingling, mingling with nasturtiums everywhere. Calendrinia. Miner's lettuce. Yum eat big salads of that every night. Lots of portulaca that's in bloom but hiding until it comes becomes sunny. Lots of wonderful, beautiful dandelions that we also put in our salads. Tree collard greens. The big jungle over here. It's got some sprawling purple daisies, more irises, and more potted plants along the driveway, apple trees, and more loquats and strawberries. Beautiful big lavender plant right here under the apricot tree. And this poor little blueberry that got too much shade. Flowers every year, but doesn't produce much fruit. It's getting quite mature now and miner's lettuce has just really boomed this spring starting to put out its seed now in my succulent area and right all through this was a path before but it's just impossible to walk through there without destroying tomorrow's salads so i don't walk that way anymore, at least not for now. Got some more tree collars coming up and some aloe and other succulents over there. Those are going to be naked ladies later in the summer. We've got a mandarin, lots of bamboo, lots of thumping bass in the background. And birds if you can make them out. This is the bamboo hedge with uh, sprawling lily koi. Makes the purple fruits. I have some bamboo going to seed right there. And I just recently planted this little avocado tree in a guild with some rosemary and oregano. The oregano, the rosemary is a little spindly. It was in the shade and I moved it out here, so it's going to be happier here. And there's another one on the other side of the avocado tree. Lots of wild onion. There's some ornamental grasses that I planted in my succulent. This was a big succulent area. It's kind of in flux. Got another little avocado tree over there. Hopefully we'll reach the sun pretty soon. It's on the north side of the bamboo. And lots of raspberry plants growing. Big old artichoke. More tree collards. Critical food source for us. Lots of other edible wee edible greens, sorry. This mallow. 
mallow, lots of chickweed, and a tiny little huckleberry. Hope that one makes it after I think I'm getting kicked out of this place. That's why I'm doing this video. It's too bad I've been here since 2010. That's about almost 13 years. August will be 13 years. We've got our yacon coming up right there. Yum. Actually haven't even harvested it yet. Can't wait. Um, and uh, just put in some steaks for my thornless blackberries right there. This yard has a lot of trees. So, oh no, just stepped on my dandelion. Sorry, girl. Calendrinia. It's going to be booming pretty soon. It's just starting to flower. A lot of trees, a lot of shade in this garden, so it's been challenging. That's a big acacia. Acacia leaves everywhere. Nasturtiums everywhere. Another little avocado seedling. I hope you survive, baby. Little plum that was pre existing, which I has never. I think I've gotten like three fruits off of it because it's totally in deep shade. I would have cut it down, but I think the. I don't know. Maybe one day someone will cut down the acacia, and then then it will thrive. Then the plum will thrive. More miner's lettuce. Oh, this is a beautiful patch right here, just at the peak of happiness. It's just an amazing plant. Claytonia, big redwood tree, also giving us tons of shade. Um, we've got some little tree collards here. They never did very well. They're right up in, between the retaining wall and the neighbor's driveway. And I also put a little honeysuckle in there, which is doing better this year. I must have liked all the rain, but it's definitely not booming as much as the honeysuckle right there right there it is all that is honeysuckle just butchered that big old I don't know what that, that thing is right that plant it's just it was really in the pathway so I had to chop some of it away there it is compost pile back over there what else um, pineapple sage. I recently cut back a bunch of last year's kale and put in a, some new kale seeds and collards and cabbage stuff over here. So and here's a closer look. Oh, wait, here's my pathway. There's the last year's kale. And here's my blackberries. Just about to bloom. I can't really see my screen now to tell if that's in focus. That's a little blackberry flower bed. Uh, got some veggies hiding down there, some beets. And there's my artichoke from the backside and some fennel. Nice little juvenile fig tree. Produces delicious figs. And there's a lily koi planted right there. Climbing into the bamboo. And some trash that someone threw over the hedge. And here I just mulched the white sapote tree. Filming right into the sun, so that's not showing up super well, except in silhouette, I guess. But there's that. More blackberry. I just tried to put a stake in it, but it had already rooted its tip, so it's like a little loop of blackberry. Let's see how that goes. There's my patch of lemon balm, which I just harvested a bunch out of, but it still looks beautiful. Old, old rose plant that I kind of butchered recently. It was just getting huge, so I had to take out some of that. And some more spindly tree collards that 
I don't know. I just I don't know why they're just... I guess it's just not sunny enough here for them to get big. Very leggy. Okay, well, that's most of it. Anything I missed? I'll show you where the... The, these other lily koi's are coming out of the ground right behind that avocado I, little avocado tree right up against the bamboo there and they are doing really well growing through the bamboo okay I guess that's about it and uh, a little rosemary I will miss this garden I hope someone, whoever lives here next, will enjoy it. Thanks for watching.